Welcome back, everybody. This is our Algebra 2 Exponential Functions, Lesson Number 10, Laws of Logarithms, Homework Review, Number 3. And again, if you have not watched Numbers 1 and 2, definitely take a look, especially Number 1, where we go over our Laws of Logs. Number 2, where we definitely do some more applications of them. And now for Number 3, our last questions here, we begin with number nine. And before we continue, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. Really appreciate it if you would, especially if you find this as this all this video stuff helps you with the work we have. Okay, so we have uh, for number nine, g of x equals eight x to the six, eight times x to the six, uh, and f of x equals log base four of two x. Then what is f of g of x? And this goes back to our composite of functions from previous lessons. So definitely, again, if you remember composite functions, we're doing putting a plug in the function within the function itself. So really, this looks like f of, in this case, 8x to the 6. Now, that means f by itself really is log base 4 of 2, big bracket here. And what goes in the big brackets? Whatever is in here. So we're going to plug in here 8x to the 6. So if you guys forgot how to do that, no, please review our lessons on our composite of functions we did way back before in earlier sections. Okay? So there's a video for that. Now, so this now becomes, in this case, log base 4 of 16x to the 6 power. So we're looking at this and going, okay, well, which of these looks like it? And they're like, no, nothing here. But it does look like we're definitely going to use our laws and logs to kind of separate them. Like, for example, we'll see in this case, because it's 16 times x to the 6 inside as our input, we will rewrite this as log base 4 of 16 plus log base 4 of x to the 6. Here we use our prob rule because 16 times x to the 6 is the input. We can rewrite this with the same base, log base 4 of 6, log base 4 16 plus log base 4, base 4 of x to the 6. All right, still not looking like anything here. All right, so log base 4 16, this here we can simplify. So we'll set this equal to n. So log base 4 of 16 is equal to n. And then we'll use our rewrite this log equation into an exponential equation where we have 4 to the n equals 16. And the nice thing is that 16 can be written as, as a base 4. So 4 to the n equals 4 squared, or n equals 2. That means in this case that our log base 4 of 16 is equal to 2. Okay? I see it too someplace, but let's continue though. Well, make sure we go with this. Now, the next thing we notice in this case that we have an exponent here. And none of the answers of exponents would probably use our power rule to bring this exponent to become the coefficient all right, of the log. So the power rule says if the input has an expo exponent, we can move the exponent to the front of the log to multiply this log. So here becomes 6 log base 4 of x. So going, oh, 6 log base 4 of x, we got that. Okay, 6 log base 4 of x plus 2. Wait a minute. It's not choice 4 because that's plus 4, so it can't be that one. And it's not this one here. That's 4 log base 1. 4 log base 4 of x plus 1. Now, here, the 3 times log base 4 of x plus 2, we got plus 2 there, so maybe we distribute. Now, we distribute, be very careful, we're multiplying 3 by both of these. So we get 3 log base 4 of x plus 6. No, we don't want that. We want the 6 log base 4 of x. So we distribute here, 2 times log base, the 2 times 3 log base 4 of x, to 2 times 1, we get 6 log base 4 of x plus 2. Hey, it's exactly what we have here. So our answer is going to be choice 3 for number 9. Okay, so we definitely had to do composite functions. We had to then, after we combine everything together, we want to rewrite this as 2 logs 
using a product rule, and we evaluate first log, log base 416, we found to be 2, and we use the power rule to make log base 4 of x to 6 become 6 times log base 4 of x, and then we saw which one of these had the same value. Question number 10. Consider the exponential equation of 4 to the x equals 30. Between what two consecutive integers must the solution to this equation lie? Explain your reasoning. Well, I know 4 to the first, that's 4, and 4 to the second is 16, and 4 to the third is 64. Well, I see 30 is between 16 and 64, so, so in this case, the two consecutive integers have to be 2 and 3. Okay, why? We took, we took, uh, 4, uh, we took 4 to the x and plugged in values. and found the integers 2 and 3 worked. Sorry, my handwriting's terrible. Sorry. Okay, so that's what we did here. This is plugging numbers into the function. So 4 for four, four, four the x, and this see, well, 16 definitely is going to be less than 30, and 64 is definitely greater than 30, and so the two consecutive integers are 2 and 3 as our exponents. Now it says write log 4 to the x as an equivalent product using the third logarithm, which really they're talking about the law, the power rule. So that would mean the exponent comes down here, and we end up getting, in this case, x times log 4. By product, it really means x times log 4, so that's a product here. So now it says here, so the solution to the original equation is x and again, the original equation was 4 to the x equals 30. And so, solution to the original equation is log base 30, log of 30 over log of 4. Can you see why based on b? Okay, well, in this case, let's take a look. Well, this unknown value times log of 4. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Well, if x equals log, uh, if x times log 4 is the same as log 4 the x, all right, the idea is that it looks like we had 4 to the 4 to the x is equal to 30. And here, if we took the log of both sides, log of 4 to the x equals to log of 30, because a log is a type of function we can plug things into, we use our power rule. Our power rule. And we got x log 4 equals log 30. Now, log 4 and log 30 are actual real numbers. They're actual real numbers. A whole bunch of decimals, but still real numbers, though. And to solve for x, so x log 4 equals log 30, that's what we got here using this idea of taking the log of both sides. Okay? Because if 4 of the x equals 30, then log of 4 of the x equals log of 30. We're going to divide both sides now by log 4. And so now we're going to get, in this case, x because these divide out, log of 4 is divided out because they're real numbers, not zeros. So we get x equals log base, log of 30. And we're using log base 10 here over log of 4, which is exactly what we get here. Okay. Now it says to evaluate the uh, evaluate this here to see whether or not we get the same thing. Uh, evaluate the expression and check and see if it's correct. Okay. So, um, so we'll take in this case we'll find the, the uh, log of thirty over log of four. Okay. So let's get a calculator here. Log thirty. So we'll type in log thirty. Close parenthesis, divide by log 4.
and we're gonna get this crazy decimal 2.453445298 and that is definitely between our integers of, of gonna be uh, in this case two and three okay now they say in this case evaluate this and see whether or not it works out we want four to the x power now this value here this 2.453445298 this is going to be our our answer for x so if we raise this number raise four to this number so four raised to and let's go up here just hit enter and let's go plug that in here will we get 30 30.00001. Now, why is this? Because at this point, I round off this answer here. Okay. I would dare say in this case, if we were to, instead of using decimal, let's try this again, for raised to, instead of using the decimal, we went back to the actual expression here. Because this decimal here is this all comprised of compressed, you know, round off stuff. Here, this is the actual numbers. If we plugged in here the log of 30 over log of 4, we would find we should get. 30 exactly and so it does work out exactly here okay so let me give this full page so you can see everything and this will be the end of our homework okay so we see we do evaluate this 4 raised the log of 30 divided by log of 4 will equal to 30 okay thanks so much for watching ladies and gentlemen i hope this is helpful and again please if you found any of these videos for this homework helpful please give it a like and if you have not done so already subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications to be learned when new videos are added to the channel thanks so much for watching please leave comments and anything you want as well leave questions about and all and I look forward to seeing all those things and get back to you about that and i'll see you in the next lesson ladies and gentlemen where we're still working with logs and using that powerful power rule thanks so much for watching take care and be safe